stop wasting your time with outdated software. I've been using Hammer for almost a decade. And I'll tell you right now that Hammer++ Plus Plus is officially the most efficient way to get maps done in the source engine. Now, you may be asking yourself, Waffle, how can this new piece of software possibly be a game changer for the source engine mapping space? Well, I'll tell you, starting with... Remember when you have to scroll through that list, seeing only the model name and a single image of the model that you're looking at? No joke, you had to remember every single model in the source engine just so you can find what you're looking for. On top of that, you have to mash down the down arrow key so much that you're on your way to get onset repetitive strain injury just so you can make a source engine map. What the hell? Now, however, everything's all laid out in 3D rendering boxes. That's right, not one model, not five models, not 10 models, not 25 models, but 50 plus models that you can look at at one time. You can also get a better look at what model you're looking at using the scroll wheel, the middle mouse button, and the alt key. Another one, another one, another one. Back then, you had to compile your level just to see how the 3D skybox looks in game. This sucks, because if you didn't get the skybox lined up just right, you would constantly have to recompile the level over and over again just to make sure it's all lined up correctly. Now, however, selecting the whole skybox as well as the sky camera, that part is very important. You can create an instance and see the whole 3D skybox in the editor, allowing you to move the 3D skybox in the editor so you can get things just right. Right. This right here is my favorite thing ever in the history of forever. You can finally see live changes to materials that move instead of just some static image. We're really living in the future, ladies and gentlemen. This is really only good for changing scroll rates or directions of waterfalls, lavas, and any materials of the such. You can also see what models look like in real time. Wait a minute. That is not correct. Actually see what you're looking at in the material browser. Never again do you have to guess whether you're selecting the right decal or not. Guys, guys, I present to you, fire. Now you can actually see what particles look like before you even jump into the game. This alone saves a ton of time placing particles correctly in the editor. I really feel bad for some of those zombie escape mappers that didn't have this feature. You know, constantly compiling the map, making sure the effect is working as it should and is placed correctly. <laughs> those sorry sons of bitches. <laughs> Breathe. You're able to see your fog changes so you can get the atmosphere just right. Again, saving a ton of time instead of having to jump into the game, making sure it's all working correctly. There is a way to do this in game, but it's not nearly as efficient as doing it in the editor, so you don't have to constantly swap back and forth between the editor and the game. View live rope changes inside the editor. Oh god, that's, that's way too much. Along with being able to see live changes to lasers and spotlights. God, that is really bright. My god. Oh, this is great. Everything about this says exactly what I am and who I am as a person. It's my defining trait. With the new gizmo, you can manipulate objects in a 3D view instead of just being confined to the 2D views. You can right click to change the scale, rotate, and move modes. Pushing X disables the gizmo in case you just don't really need it at that moment. Yeah, you hear that? You're not needed all the time, Gizmo. God. You can now drag select instead of having to click manually. This is great for trying to get a bunch of items close together, like a staircase in this instance. Just don't go crazy with it. I said don't go crazy with it. You can have multiple coordinates in your level for easy management of sections inside of your level. This is great if you want to render certain parts of your level together or as a management tool to unclutter the 2D view. I can't even see anything. What the, what the hell is going on here? This was a lifesaver for my arena map as the entire map was split up into mini levels that I can isolate for testing purposes. Sorry FWKZT for putting up with my shit. Clicking on the camera and going to the 3D lighting preview, then clicking light WND opens up a window. Clicking full bait compiles real-time lighting in the editor. This is the holy grail of Hammer++, the thing that in all honesty should sell you immediately for the software. You can pretty much light your entire map without having to compile the lighting ever again. Thank 
God. No, seriously, you're gonna sit here like a good boy and see how much of a game changer this is. With all the bigger changes mentioned, here are some smaller changes that aren't really worth talking about too much, but are extremely valuable in their own right. Enjoy! Yeah, but this one would be advisable for a newer level designer. Wait, where did you come from? Wait, 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 whoa. What did you just say? This this wouldn't be advisable for beginners going into Hammer? Did you did you not just see what was shown right there? It, it, it makes Hammer it makes Hammer confusing for people getting into mapping. I'm gonna stop you right there. There is nothing that has changed between the old and the new version. All it does is add new features that you can theoretically ignore. You're literally shooting yourself in the foot for not using these tools to further your development. Do I have to mention the light baking a second time? But isn't it hard to get Hammer++ plus plus, like all set up? Not when you have a video like this that you can watch right now. Click on it. CLICK ON IT!